What we do is we basically bring the library out to children. It actually started when the founder of the Salvation Army saw people living on the street, children forced to work in factories. This year, we're going to honor the legacy of Dr. James Farmer with a scholarship. Setting up these thought leadership councils, it's the best way to effectively engage our members. Our teachers, I would put their educational qualifications and their training up against anybody. Hello and welcome to Cox Connections. I'm your host, Catherine Falk, Vice President of Public and Government Affairs. Thank you for joining us today. The Children's Science Center has been igniting our kids' interest in STEM for years with traveling workshops in our schools and events throughout our community. And now they've opened a new home at the Fair Oaks Mall, a lab where children can get hands-on experience with the magic of STEM. Joining us today is Nini Spivey, Executive Director of the Children's Science Center. Welcome, Nini. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. So congratulations. This is a really a huge milestone opening the Children's Science Center lab. Tell us about it. We are so excited. We opened on June 20th, and we've just loved seeing all the kids and families and, and even a school group that's already come through. It is a really magical place. It is an interactive museum for children, families, and school groups to come and experience, as you said, the wonder of STEM, the wonder of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And where is it located and what are the hours? Yeah, so we're located at Fair Oaks Mall in Fairfax, Virginia. We're open every day of the week, seven days a week from 10 to 6. And on Friday and Saturdays this summer, we're going to have some special evening hours until 8 p.m. Great. And what's really the focus of the center, or the lab as you yeah, call it? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're really focused on providing children hands-on experiences. We understand that children learn best, especially in the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics areas when they have hands-on experiences to do that with. We're focused on children age 2 and up. We find that we're really our sweet spot is probably 2 to 12, but we've also had a lot of teenagers come through and just love it. Great. I know you've been working on this for a long time. Why was this such a passion and such a mission to open this lab? Oh yes, this is this has really been a special cause because we are providing something that simply hasn't existed in the Northern Virginia region until now. We are the first interactive museum designed and dedicated for children's learning. And we're especially focused on what is a big deal in Northern Virginia, being a major technology center. Our community said, you need to focus on science. You need to focus on engineering and technology and all of these things that make Northern Virginia what it is today and inspire our kids early. That's great. And while you were working on opening this, you've actually been operating for about five years. Tell us how you were operating. Yeah, so we really were focused on fulfilling our mission from the get-go. It takes a while to get walls. And so we have been really operating as a museum without walls for over five years now. And it's just been growing year over year because in our community, there's so much hunger for hands-on learning in these subject areas. We go to schools, we go to community events, and uh, last year, in 2014, we served over 24,000 visitors with these programs. So we've been really busy, and uh, everyone always wants to know, are we going to keep traveling and keep taking our show on the road? And absolutely, there's just so much need for this across our community, and we want to reach as many kids and families and schools as possible. That's great news. Um, but with the opening of the lab, there's still a huge milestone ahead for you. So yes, tell us about yes, that exciting I, news. Yeah, you know, I like to tell people that this is the beginning, not the end of the story in many ways, that the lab is wonderful. Uh, it's a 5,400 square foot space at Fair Oaks Mall, and we love it already. But what we need for, for a region that has a half million children is we need a full-size museum facility. And we're so fortunate that we do have some donated land in Dulles, Virginia, just off Route 28, to make this full vision a reality. And donations are so important because you're a nonprofit, right? Absolutely. We are a nonprofit organization. We have been very fortunate that so many people have joined us in this vision to make this resource and this kind of hands-on learning available in our community. So we do appreciate the support of donors. We've been fortunate to have support from individual families, from area corporations and foundations. And uh, frankly, you know, a lot, a lot more will be needed to really bring the full-scale museum to life. 
Because as you said, this is really just the beginning. It is just the beginning. So I know you have some exciting events coming up this summer. Yeah. Tell us about the Summer Science Celebration. Yes, yes. So each summer we have a big event. Um, this year, the Summer Science Celebration will be celebrating not only our citizen scientists, we uh, recruit a number of, of young people, our, our, many of our visitors, uh, to be scientists for the summer. This summer our project is uh, one that's uh, one of NASA's projects and kids are observing cloud formations and reporting uh, data on those, on those observations back to NASA and we're helping to facilitate this citizen science project. So the first thing we're going to do at Summer of Science Celebration is we are going to celebrate all those junior citizen scientists. But the other big thing that we're doing on August 2nd at this big celebration is to celebrate this opening, to celebrate this milestone moment for Northern Virginia, for our larger region, and having this hands-on resource available every day of the year for our kids. Wow, and I'm sure that information's on your website and you have a, a lot more about location hours. I know there are annual memberships available yes, as well. Yes, yes, so we have annual memberships for families that are just ready to explore as much as they can at the lab. We have birthday parties, we have camps, we have workshops, there are really a lot of ways to get excited about science at the lab and continue that that love and that passion for learning in these areas every day of the year. And we've got about a minute left, but I know that you also have some great volunteer opportunities and volunteers are an important part of your mission. They are. We would not be where we are today without volunteers. In fact, we've been all volunteer run for uh, most of our existence um, just in the last couple of years have we started to bring on staff. So they're the heart of our organization. We need volunteers in almost all capacities. We need volunteers to help us with our mobile programs when we're out in the community. We're in seven jurisdictions around Northern Virginia, so we can you can volunteer in your neighborhood quite easily with the Children's Science Center. We also need a lot of volunteers now at the Children's Science Center lab. The really the best experience for children and families in the lab is when they have facilitators there to help guide them and support them through the learning process. So we are eager to find many more volunteers that would be willing to share a few hours of their time each week or each month. Great, and that information is also on the website? Yes, yes, absolutely. Great. We have it all online, all in t um, online volunteer application, online signups for shifts. We try to make it easy for our volunteers. Wonderful. Well, congratulations again. We're so thrilled to have you in our community. Thank you. And thank you. And stay tuned. We have more Cox Connections after this break.